the land of counterpane. How often have you looked at a cardboard box and your imagination has converted it into a house or a car or even an aeroplane? Maybe one of you flattened it to make it appear as a simple island in the middle of sea. Yes, many of you are highly imaginative and a poem that truly captures this imaginative spirit is The Land of Counterpain, written by Robert Louis Stevenson. In the poem The Land of Counterpain, Stevenson captures the imaginative spirit of a sick child. In the first verse of the poem, the poet describes a sick child who is resting in bed with his toys. He says, When I was sick and lay abed, I had two pillows at my head, and all my toys beside me lay to keep me happy all the day. Second verse of the poem describes how child's imagination converts his bedspread into plains and hills on which his toy soldiers spend time doing various drills. Poet says, And sometimes for an hour or so I watched my leaden soldiers go, with different uniforms and drills among the bedclothes through the hills. In the third verse, the poet describes the child's imagination of sending his fleet of ships sailing out into the sea. Poet says, And sometimes sent my ships in fleets, all up and down among the sheets, or brought my trees and houses out, and planted cities all about. In the last verse, the boy imagines himself as a giant, sitting still on a hill that overlooks a valley and plain. Poet says, I was the giant great and still that sits upon the pillow hill, and sees before him dale and plain, the pleasant land of counterpane. How did you like the imagination of the young boy in the poem, The Land of Counterpain? In what ways do you think being imaginative can help you.